I've been told that if a witch says their desires three times in a row, it will come true. So I'm going to give this a go. Wish me luck. Marry me, David Tennant. Marry me, David Tennant. Marry me, David Tennant. Okay, so I don't think the spell has an immediate effect. We'll see what happens. Of course I am talking about the third episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, The True Adventures of Rudy Kazuri and I am still continuing to redo the episodes I reviewed on my Sabrina channel. This one is one of my all time favourite series 1 episodes and I know I've said that with the past 3 episodes but the first couple of season 1 episodes are really really good. After that it's a little bit, you know, a little bit uneasy. But this one I really, really love. As the spell at the beginning suggested, this does involve an incident where Sabrina said something three times and she didn't know that it would come true if she said it three times. She was babysitting with Harvey. She was babysitting a little boy called Rudy Kaziri or Mr. Kaziri if you like. And she said to him, be a big boy, be a big boy, be a big boy. Trying to get him to calm down and go to sleep because he was causing havoc and getting away of Sabrina's date with Harvey. And obviously Sabrina had said this three times and Rudy Kazuri turned into a man. Which was a little bit of a shock. You know, Sabrina didn't expect to go upstairs when the baby was made a noise and found that in the crib there was a real life size man. Any other person would think, hang on, where have you put the baby and who the hell are you? But Sabrina realised straight away that she had done something with magic and turned Rudy into a man. Now, normally she would just go straight to her auntie's in Spellman household, but this was a big problem. First of all, she had to get the man-sized baby past Harvey, but Harvey was so engrossed in the game that that was easy enough anyway. But the Spellmans weren't at home, they were at parents' night, because there was a parents' night at Westbridge High, and Hilda and Zelda went along to speak to Mr. Poole and see the other teachers, but how Sabrina was getting on, as you do with the parents' night, and there's a point where Sabrina had to pretend that Rudy Kazuli was her father, which didn't go down well at all times and there was a lot of problems caused by that you know he was still acting like a baby he was just a man sized baby who could walk he was still you know mesmerized by floaty things and bright colors and you know all fun bright attractive things and you know obviously Zelda and Hilda realized straight away that this was potentially the baby that Sabrina was supposed to be looking after and they tried to make Sabrina think of what she'd said and in the end they think ah yes you've said it three times so you have to try and say, you have to say it in, in reverse. So she had to say, boy, big a bee, boy, big a bee, boy, big a bee, to get him to turn into a baby again. And luckily in the nick of time it worked just as the parents came home and all was fine. But it was very touch and go for quite a while. I mean, it's only 20, 22, 20 minutes, 23 minutes long. But you're sitting thinking, come on, Rudy, turn back into a baby before the parents get in. Sabrina can't get into trouble. It's very hectic, very intense. And you feel for Sabrina. And it's also very fun because I'm pretty sure... Everybody in the world after that tried that spell. They obviously at the end they go, Randy Travis, Randy Travis, Randy Travis. Boom. So it is it is quite quite an interesting spell to use quite a lot. Um there are a lot of fun little bits in this one. First of all you have the whole the the name branding, Sabrina conjures up snacks for her and Harvey, but they can't conjure up brand names when you're a witch. Because um initially she, at the beginning she wanted to um get rollerblades but she couldn't she conjured up rollerblades she needed a job yada yada and she conjured up brand names but they weren't brand names so you had popsy instead of pepsi n and n's instead of m and m's um instead of i think and I, i'm not familiar with this brand so i could get it wrong um i think it was meant to be called yuhu but instead it was a hey you over there or something like that i'm not familiar with that brand at all but obviously the rest i do um and there was also a really fun little bit like that which i thought was really Really a nice touch, not you know, not necessary, but it was it was it was fun padding and I like that. Also you have the whole chem kit and bio stud thing, which I loved. Um, you know, when Mr. Poole and Zelda found out that they were on the same chat room and he was called Bio Stud and she was Chem Kit and they're two chemistry nuts. And at that point, three episodes in, I thought, when this show is finished, Zelda is gonna end up marrying Mr. Poole. Now I still like that analogy. I thought that would have been better than turning her into a bloody candle. You know, I thought that would have been a better way if, if, for some reason, Beth had to leave. It's series six and there was no way out of it. I thought getting her to have a relationship with Mr. Poole and fleeting off in the sunset would have been a much better, much, 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 much better answer than than turning her into a child and then into a candle at the end. Because you guys know I hate that more than anything. But obviously that didn't work out. But I thought it would have been really good together. Maybe they had secret little conversations, a little midnight chats on the the um 
on that website onto their screen names. Who knows? It probably wouldn't have been suitable for children's viewing anyway. But it is absolutely fantastic. It aired on the 11th of October 1996, which in, t in theory is nearly 20 years ago. I mean, I, I know it wasn't. I mean, it was only, what, 15 years ago? But 15 years is quite close to 20 years, you know? So it's, it's like ages and ages ago, and it doesn't seem like it. And a little fact for you, and I, I'm not calling Melissa old whatsoever, in case, Melissa, you are watching this video for whatever reason. Melissa is now older than the age Caroline Ray was when Caroline played Aunt Hilda. That's mind-boggling, you know? So, so Melissa is now at the age where she is older than Aunt Hilda was at the beginning. That's, that's, ooh, that, that's really scary because I still like to think of Melissa as being a little 20 year old playing Sabrina. Of course she's not 20, but it, it's just a scary thought to think that Caroline was younger than Sabrina, younger than Melissa when Sabrina first aired. It's, it's just mesmerizing, it's really weird. Um, in case you didn't spend all your time looking at their profiles on Wikipedia, that's a little fact for you. But yeah, this is, as I said, one of my absolute favourite episodes. Please feel free to leave comments and let me know your thoughts. My next Sabrina episode will be episode 4 and it will be next week. But that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!